What is happening guys? Cowboy here and we're back with part 29 of the walkthrough. Kicking off the mission. Triple Decker. Let's see where we gotta go. Holy shit. It's far as hell out there. So, um, if I remember correctly, you should have Gaztown unlocked as soon as you get to the South Island. So, I'd highly suggest taking the fast travel there. Otherwise, an alternative option is of course to, you know, work your way around and, you know, grab a couple towers... Maybe a few outposts here or there, so you have some more fast travel points, you know, whatever, whatever gets you going. But, let's head on over there. Looks like we have to kill some dickheads to make Hoyt trust us. We're gonna get him nice and close to us, and then, when he's least suspecting it, we're gonna kill him. So. Um, really? There's no car? Oh, man, this town is a piece of shit. Here we go. Here's one. So, let's take the car. Come on, any day, Jason. There we go. All right, we're in the. We're gonna drive up here, find a nice vantage point, and then probably just hang glide on in. As I mentioned, the hang gliding, or not the hang gliding, excuse me, the wingsuit. It's probably one of the most awesome ways to travel. I mean, it's efficient as fuck. So you can do it anywhere. And on top of that, it's fast as hell. Just flying through the sky. You can also just use it, I mean, if you're, like, about to fall and, and die, you can, you know, hop it out real fast and go straight to your parachute, and it'll, it'll save your ass. So, yeah, definitely, uh, use that wingsuit, guys. It's fun. Might as well, anyway, right? I had to get all the way to the second island to finally get the damn thing. But up this trail we go. Let's see where this leads us. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work. Something tells me the car's not going to fit across that bridge. Alright, to the old temple. And I have a feeling that the old temple is actually at the end of this hill. No, it's all the way over there, huh. Alright, well. In that case, it's fucking... We gotta get some, uh, get some vertical leverage here. Find a nice spot, make our jump. Oh. What's up, other privateers? Yeah, I'm just like you guys, you know. Hey, what's up? What's going on, guys? Just coming into the hangout. You know, I had to grab some... Some body armor and shit. Yeah, you know, I take, I always take the treasure. Yeah, that's me. I'm the treasure guy. All right, see you guys later. And just to give you an idea of what that is, as you can see, well, apparently that's just a hut. But on the map, you'll notice, um, where are they at? A couple different places. Which aren't fucking showing up right now for some reason, but... I don't know where they went. Anyway, you'll see different, uh, basically camps on your mini, on your map now. You'll see, like, Alpha Camp, Delta Camp, and they're just basically little mini areas filled with privateers, so... Obviously, once you get the privateer outfit, it is a hell of a lot easier to navigate around this island. You don't have people just trying to kill you every other second. Which, I'd actually suggest doing that mission just to get the privateer outfit before you decide to venture off and try to get all of your towers or compounds or whatever you plan on doing, but... Anyway, let's fucking, uh... Yeah, I doubt the other privateers are doing this, but we are, because we're a fucking baller like that. I'm like Batman up in this bitch. About to fly down and punch someone in the face. Oh, and there's the old temple. Still got a ways to go, so we're just going to chill for a bit. Fly on in. Alright, and make stealth kills to stay undercover. Sounds good. Alright, let's, uh, damn it. This fucking parachute. Should have dove like way towards the ground before I deployed it. Now I'm just floating around looking like an asshole. Alright, come on. Get to the trees. Maybe I can like crash into this tree and it'll get me out of the parachute. No, it did not work. Come on. Just get to the land. There we go. God damn. Alright. Well, if we're going to be doing stealth kills, as you already know, bow and arrow is obviously going to be the weapon of choice. What's more stealthy than shooting an arrow into somebody? Nothing. I mean, honestly. Silencers give away your positions. Alright. Let's fucking pop a perception. Find out where they're all at. Oh. And you can see right there, even though I just fell like a couple seconds, I still had the option to deploy the wingsuit. Like I said, you can use it pretty much any time you're falling. 
tell you though, it's pretty different being able to I'm worth more than this bullshit. like walk around up on these guys and just like be like, hey, what's up? Don't mind me. I'm just gonna, you know, walk over here. I just like taking pictures. It's what I do. It's my thing. Completely different style of play. But as you might remember, our friend Sam told us there are three generals. So we got two of them marked up already. Let's get the last one, wherever the hell he's at. I'm guessing maybe he's one of these dudes. And is it? It is not. Okay, so we're still missing one. We got one general, two general. Where is general number three? Is he down here? Is that our man? There's our man. All right. So now it's time to make a plan of action. And as the game suggested, we obviously want to be doing stealth. So the bow and arrow is our primary. Takedowns are going to be coming in a ton here. I wouldn't suggest using a silencer because it's going to look pretty obvious when you're, you know, shooting everyone up with silenced weapons. But let's get on to these VIPs. So grab this real quick. All right, we got two right here and one right here. Good way to pull this off. And I think this guy is too far, or it's far enough that he won't be a problem. Actually, we're going to take care of this guy now that we're away just a little bit longer until we're farther away from everybody. Once we're out of line of sight of that guy over there. Oh, I wanted to do a drag takedown, and apparently I'm not going to, but whatever. Um weird don't have the option to loot that guy anyway on to the next one why did i make that bed as you can see we can just drag him on back i don't think it matters we probably could have just gone for the knife either way let's keep uh let's keep it going with the Nothing. the takedowns all right and i guess we auto search these guys oh Ooh, that could have been bad 60 XP takedowns. I'm loving it. Drop him there. Grab this chest. Alright. We got General Man over here. Hello, comrade. Down you go. Still nothing. Last guy better be carrying something. Oh, I'm sure he will, Jason. No worries. So. Being as these assholes are heavy gunners, obviously make sure you have your heavy gunner takedown. Otherwise, you're going to feel like an asshole when you try to perform the takedown and you fail. Um, this guy is... I don't know what this guy is doing, but that gives us uh, pretty much free range to kill this one. And the general's not looking, so... Oh, that didn't work. Oh, whatever. Let's do this. 500 XP. God, I'm loving the experience we're getting off these guys. Massive XP. And of course, we're not going to forget any treasure chests. But one asshole left to kill. Let's get over to him. Let's see, one more chest. Gotta grab it, because I'm a loot whore. There it is. Oh, don't fall down, Jason. Can you imagine? Quick chain takedown. Ooh, 200 XP for that chain. Good. And we're not even being stealthy about this anymore. We're just walking up and killing them. Whoa, what's up? No, no. You shush. I'm not doing anything. I am simply walking around. So I'm guessing we probably pissed them off. I mean, we did kill a bunch of guys. Not that surprising. But this is good, because now you guys will be able to get an idea of what it's like when you're actually fucking with the privateers, and you're not just in, you know, your full stealth mode bodysuit. Or, ooh, you know what, it does provide another interesting opportunity to see if we could pull off a parachute takedown, which I've wanted to do. And of course this asshole is inside, so we're not going to be able to get it. Son of a bitch. 
Whatever. At least you'll be able to see how brutal the privateers can get. But as we can see, homie over here has decided to hide inside of a building of some sort. We're going to tag up some of our, our friends right here. The hell? They got a Komodo dragon captured? Like us? Did Hoyt send him? Protect the captain! Shh, 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 shh. Just go to sleep now. He's going up the captain. As hard as they may try, they're still not good enough to take down Jason Brody. What the hell? I'm about to say, I'm like, we shot this guy already. Shot him. Take our arrows back. We'll loot this up. Oh, someone over there is looking at us. I don't know who it is, but that's none of our concern. Ow. Something is shooting at me. And the captain's down. Not the sheep. What is it? No. Rendezvous note. All right. I guess that's what we came for. But since there's a bunch of assholes and some treasure left, we're of course gonna loot rug sack full. Uh oh, maybe we're not going to grab everything, but we are going to kill this last asshole that's right here. We're gonna play peekaboo and stab you in the face. How many more guys are there? Come on, anybody else? I'm in a stabby kind of mood. Where is this guy? I can't even see this prick. Oh, he's way up there. Maybe you don't know, bitch. I'm archery champion of the world. You made me miss. Bad privateer. It's a bad. Bad privateer. But that's it for this area, it looks like. I'll take two out of three completely stealth. As you can see, once you decide to just start chain-killing them all willy-nilly, it tends to blow your cover. And the couple guys we fought... So I definitely got a whole bar of health and some body armor out of us, so... But definitely not to be fucked around with unless you're ready to, you know, give it to him good, so... With that being said, obviously that's all there is to it for Triple Decker. We'll see what this is about real quick. The roll sheet eludes you. This makes me sad. Yeah, but I did find a note. They're meeting in a couple of days. Apparently, it's important. Then the roll sheet will be at the meeting. I am happy again. <laughs> In the meantime, oh, I like this guy. There's something I must fix for Hoyt. Want to come along for the ride? Sure. Wunderbar. Meet me at the drug fields. I have a situation to defuse. All right. Well, looks like up next is defusing the situation. So, as always, guys, thanks for coming by. Make sure to comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll see you with the next mission.